Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you around my customized version of the State Machine plugin made by Kibano. I've done some changes to it, I've added some functionality that I felt was missing. And that main functionality that I felt was missing was State Inheritance. For example, imagine that you have a character and you have its movement in a State Machine. If you have a falling state and you want to add something else while the character is falling, uh, change to another state while the character is falling or have another state that also makes the character fall you're going to find a problem and that is that you have to re-implement the whole uh, falling functionality uh, with inheritance you just have to implement it once and then inherit from it and you can add more things to your new inherited state but the character will also fall and i think this is important to have easy to maintain code bases I've also changed some things about the way methods were named, so they use snake case. Uh, this is because in Godot, when you work with JavaScript, and JavaScript is very similar to Python, and you know all methods that are exposed to JavaScript are usually done in snake case. Snake case, for those of you that don't know, is uh, using underscores instead of capital letters to separate words in method names or variables. In JavaScript, you use a snake case most of the time because the engine also uses it and it, it just keeps things more consistent. So let's take a look at the the editor. I've fixed some stuff. I, I think middle mouse button, you know, dragging was broken in the version I, I got. So I fixed that. Um, I've also moved this close button here so that it's easier to hit. And I've added this contextual menu. Now. From here, you can create a new state, and let's call it demo state. So this one has a different uh, template. I've uh, modified it so that it's much, it's much smaller, but it doesn't really uh, have any missing information. It's all here. And so there are some things that are still in camel case that I haven't fixed, but I, I will get to fix that soon. And so as you can see, this is calling the, the parent uh, script the parent, uh, the parent class and this way you keep the functionality of that parent class so you have inheritance uh, this is necessary for inheritance from here you can create a new state which is inherited let's call it demo state inherited and this new demo state now will inherit from the original demo state this way they share functionality and that's basically it. There's not much more functionality I have added, but I think this is some some stuff that I I needed for my game, and I I have shared it with all of you in my GitHub link. It's going to be in the description too. And if I make anything new uh, for this project, for this uh, finite state matching plugin, I will make another video if I add some new functionality. But yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching.